But let us look at what you could have done as Prime Minister then to probably allay some of her concerns, which is something that she raised. Observers, CARICOM or Commonwealth observers. At what point you knew you were going to call the election and weren't you in a position to get the observers into the country before I, I, so that you, they could have enough time to quarantine and to be a part of the election process? And that is precisely what I did. When, when, once the elections were called, once the, the decision was taken to call the election, the elections were called and I wrote to the Commonwealth Secretariat and I wrote to the the CARICOM secretary asking them to um, send observers. They, they initially indicated, you know, that they would see that, um, you know, that they probably tried to get on. Then eventually, in the conversation, communication between us as the days pass, as they tried to do it, they came up against difficulties that caused them not to be able to meet the gun. In the case of CARICOM, when CARICOM sent out the request, because the way CARICOM does it, when a country makes that request, CARICOM then asks all the various countries who want to participate, who would like to participate. And CARICOM was able over a period of time to get an interest of only three people. What they were finding, people did not want to move. And also, once they got to Trinidad, they did not want to come here and go into quarantine. But why not? This is the standard well, process I, I right across the Caribbean I, at this time. No, People are quarantining. A lot of them opened their borders, unlike but, Trinidad and Tobago. So they're able to move freely. But the bottom line is they could not find people who wanted to pick up themselves, go to another country, go into a quarantine. And then um, when they eventually, CARICOM was only able to raise three, um, three countries with interest. And they took the decision that they would need more than that, much more than that to be, uh, to be useful. So up to the very end, in fact, we were prepared to even modify our arrangements with the quarantine. And uh, that was going to be determined by our CMO here. So the 14 day and so on. But in the end, there was nobody. And the case, in the case of the Commonwealth, they, um, after they looked at it, they came up against a financial situation where, and then they, then they told us that the financial requirements um, were not within the remit at the point in time. Somebody, I saw somebody criticizing that, saying that they have money to do these things. I don't know if you all are aware what is happening at the CARICOM Secretariat, at the Commonwealth Secretariat. Um, the, all the main funders have withdrawn their funding in the context of the leadership of the agency. Um, England, Australia, uh, the UK, Australia, Canada, probably even New Zealand, they have all ceased funding. Don't you think if you had gotten the observers into Trinidad and Tobago, it would have made a difference to how the United National Congress responded no, to would, the election it results? It would not have, because we had observers here in 2015 that did not prevent them from making the challenge that they made and that they failed to um, get. It's all about delegitimizing the government. Observe, as a matter of fact, based on what the UNC was doing, right? they, should, they should be the last person to be calling for observers because their conduct were the ones the observers would have been. Um, we, are the, we are the ones who should be talking about observers. Right? You see all those fridge and stove and cash that went out during the election? We should be calling about it. But we have decided that you know, we are going to focus on the people's business and in fact, but while you make things, the point of the fridges and stove, why didn't you make a formal complaint to the EBC if you thought that it was trying to influence votes? We, we didn't spend our time trying to focus on the EBC. We focused on the population going out there and voting, putting an X by the party that of your choice, and that was done. 